Tony Eber is giving us some insight tonight into what he will include in his state budget proposal next Thursday. Aro Schmidt joins us to explain uh, what his focus is, particularly when it comes to women's health care. Rose? Well, Eric, Governor Ebers is announcing his Healthy Women, Healthy Babies initiatives, which would expand a range of women's health services. But his focus on Planned Parenthood is being met with pushback from Republicans at the state legislature. I believe every woman and every kid, no matter where they live, deserves access to comprehensive health care. With an investment of nearly $28 million, Governor Evers is making women's health a top priority in his state budget. We're going to start by expanding the Well Women program and bringing Planned Parenthood back into the fold as a trusted provider. Under Evers' plan, Planned Parenthood would be eligible again for state and federal funding stripped away by Governor Walker. The organization says it lost a million dollars, forcing five rural clinics to close. And what we've seen since then is no one else has really stepped up to provide that care in those communities. Patients there are forced to either travel farther or simply go without critical preventative care. But Republican leaders won't consider any plan that involves more money for the state's largest abortion provider. Republicans are not going to put one more nickel into Planned Parenthood than we do right now. We have done everything we can to try to make sure that we protect human life. Planned Parenthood officials say the money would go toward a range of other services, like preventative treatments and cancer screenings. None of these funds would go to abortion care. And while that's an important part of what Planned Parenthood does, it's a very small part of the services we provide. Evers' administration is also aiming to address racial disparities in health care, something Tia Murray and Michaela Berry are happy to see. We know that stress um, from racism, from economic instability, contributes to our health in general, but also contributes to the health of a baby. In a state that has the highest infant mortality rate for black children, they run a network of more than a dozen doulas aiming to increase health outcomes. We've seen a lot of trauma. Um, we've seen um, things happen in the medical setting that shouldn't happen based on the way that a woman looks. That's why they're glad to see Evers fueling money into programs to decrease infant mortality rates and increase doula training programs. With the governor bringing attention to this, he's noticing that this is important and this is not just happening in Dane County. Evers plan would also boost postpartum coverage for mothers insured by Medicaid. Currently, Medicaid covers pregnant women for 60 days after giving birth, but Evers wants to increase that for up to a year. So there's quite a lot in this proposal. Well, Rose Schmidt reporting. I Rose, thank you.